Welcome everybody. Today I will be doing a short tutorial about MS PowerPoint. What is MS PowerPoint? MS PowerPoint is a presentation program. It's a software package used to display information that addresses certain topics in the form of a slideshow. So each slide can have more than one object of a different type. For example, text, graphics, organizational charts, tables, sound, videos, and you could also add animation. The next uh, clip that I will create would be with animation, but today I just want to do an introduction on MS PowerPoint. So what is the characteristics of a PowerPoint, a good PowerPoint presentation? It must be presentable, accurate, logical and interesting. Never overload your PowerPoint presentation with too much words. Rather keep it short to the point. Now we also know that MS PowerPoint is new to the computer practice, new, uh, new to the computer practice curriculum in N4. So how do I go to MS PowerPoint? You can click on uh, the search button and type in uh, PowerPoint and you can click on it over there or what I have done is that I've pinned it to my taskbar so I'm just going to click on that so interesting enough on my left hand side I have all my recent documents PowerPoint presentations that I've worked on before and on my right hand side are the different templates I can use by suggested searches is um, you can search online for a presentation type. For example, if I click on education, um, here are different forms of templates that I can't use. I'm going to click black on home and I'm going to choose a black presentation. Now, in PowerPoint, there are, let me just explain to you the different types of views and the presentation of it. So first of all, this is the quick access toolbar on my top left. This is my main menu, my tabs, and this is my title bar. This over here, this is known as my ribbon. And if I go down, the slide on my right hand side, this is known as my slide pane. And this is my text boxes where I will type my information in. If I go down to the bottom left, right, uh, I'd have my different views, my mode of views. The first one is the normal, which I'm currently in, slide sorter, my reading view, and then my slide show. Right next to that, I have my zoom slider, where I can increase my, my, pay, my slide and decrease my slide. On my left hand side of here, I'll find my, neg my navigation pane. So first of all is um, when opening up the blank presentation, um, under the Home tab, this is the default uh, slide that I do have. And if I would want to insert a different slide, you can see it's new slide and it's a drop-down arrow. The drop-down arrow always means more options. So if I click on that drop-down arrow and then it gives me a list of slides that I can use. So normally in the instructions, in the task and activity and assessment, they'll tell you exactly which slide to use. But if you are doing a presentation uh, for a class or for business sales or doing a pitch, you should use your creativity and choosing uh, a slide that you'd want to use. So I'm going to use the first slide. So they said click to add title. So I'm going to type over the English Premier League Football and I can change my, I can make it bold, I can center, it's already centered, I can change my font style, let's use Comic Sans and then I'm going to shade it as well and I can increase my font size as well with and then I'll click on the second text box. This is my subtitle and I could say the best themes. And of course you can use your, you follow the instruction or you can change it, change the font to whatever you'd want. 
Let me change that to right. Okay, you can even change the color. This is like when I explain it in this word, strike through character spacing, your uppercase, lowercase. So let's do that as uppercase. And this is changing the color. Let's use dark orange and let's use dark orange as well. So now my first slide is done. Maybe I'd want to move this text box more to the bottom right. Looks much more presentable. And I would change this to italic and I'll shade it as well. Uh, so I'd want to create a insert a new slide. So under home, you get new slide. There's a drop down arrow, so I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and I can choose my slide. So um, I'll choose the title and content, and the title and content of here would be uh, top teams. Like I said again, you can change the font, I can center it, I can shadow it. Can change it to uppercase again and of course um, I'm so these are the bullets automatically it will be bullets as you can see over here this is you can also insert an object this over here would be a table a chart a smart uh, art this would be pictures online pictures and even a video clip so this is a normal bullet you can change the style of the bullet over here um, but I don't want bullets I would want numbers so if I choose the numbers over here, so we all know that Manchester United is the, the best team in the world. So I'm going to type Manchester United. Let's say Man City because they're on top of the Manchester City. And let's say uh, Leicester City. Let's use Everton. Um, and uh, just by chance we type in Liverpool somehow they won the league last year Liverpool FC so that's my second slide you can again increase my font um, I can change the font as well I can change the color of the font let's choose red for Manchester United and that is my second slide my third slide, I'd want to insert maybe an object or picture, so I'd use, um, you can use comparison, but I'm going I'm to use, uh, I'm going to use a two content slide, and I will type over the um, Manchester United, and I would want to insert a picture over here. So how do I insert a picture? You can click one of those over here. So I'm just going to click on normal picture. Or you can click on insert. And here is your objects again. It's your table, your pictures, online pictures, um, shapes, smart shapes, charts, date and time, header, footer. You can also insert these are all the objects that you can insert in your slide presentation. But I'm going to choose a picture. So... Let's go to my desktop and let's type in, click on that one, I'm going to click on insert. So um, remember these are handles on the side of the picture so I can increase the size of the picture by the handles remember. Um, by doing that you're losing the, the quality of the picture what I'm doing right now but I'm just going to use that anyway. So Manchester United and I'm going to make that centered. Aerial black, and I'm gonna upsize. Um, so, yeah, I can type in any text that I'd want to type in. So, I could type in over the um, winners. There's no bullets, so I'm gonna click on a bullet over here. Tick uh, FA Cup winners. Um, English Premier League winners, Champions League winners. They basically won all the 
all the all the cups um, Europa League. So um, this is now a three three slide presentation. If I click on slide sorter, um, this is by my views. This is slide sorter. So for example, if I don't want to move my slides around, I can move it around. Um, if it's not in the particular order that it's supposed to be and then I can just click on normal mode again so they'd always ask you to insert a, a hidden footer so you can click on insert and here is hidden footer so you're gonna click on footer and you're gonna click uh, you can type in the footer that you want over there or date and time if you'd want the date and time or the slide number um, and once you apply it, you can apply it to one particular slide or you can put apply it to all the slides and this is notes and handouts that's per slide and this is notes and handouts I'll explain that now to you when I show you the printing how to print the slide um, you have your header and your footer and you have your page numbers as well so you'll all find that under insert, header and footer um, how do I print my PowerPoint presentation? I click on File, Print, make sure that you're using the correct printer. Um, I'm just, for now, using Sim to OneNote. And you have slides, you can print individual slides or certain slides, or you can choose to print full slides, but the instructions normally print four slides or three slides per page. So this over here is one slide per page. Two slides, three slides, four slides, six slides, and it carries on. <clears throat> I would like to choose three slides because I only have three slides. So this would be the slides over here. Um, that's the date. That's the page number. I can also insert my hidden footer over here. Click on header and footer. If I notes and handouts, I can put over there examination number. Um, and my footer, I can type, for example, um, question three A. Apply to all slides, and you can see now my examination numbers there and my question three A. Please note, I'm re-emphasizing that printing there is always an instruction to print how many slides on a page. If you're gonna have six slides and you do not choose six slides or three slides per page you're going to print them as full slides you will have six printouts <clears throat> um, i'm going to click on back um, we go to design these are the different types of design views so we have the themes which is on the left over here and on my right is my variance so if i click on the launcher these are the different types of themes that i can choose so do you choose the best theme uh, which should be more presentable for your presentation so let's choose let's choose that one over there and you can see my font has changed uh, my text boxes has moved um, so you're going to go according to the instructions and of course if you go to variables and these are colors, your font colors, your font, sorry, your colors, your fonts and your effects. Um, if you go to animation, I did say I'll touch on this a bit later. So this is animation when um, be more creative and for the text to fly in, move out and to animate your presentation slides. So you need to click on the text box and here you can see the different types of animation. So once I click on, for example, appear, this number, it's numbered. If I use you on animation tab, there is, sorry, in the animation tab, there is animation pane. So if I click on that on my right hand side, this is very helpful. Um, you can see this is numbered, so that will be my first animation. Um, if I go to slide 2 and I click on the text box and I maybe want if I click on the launcher this is the emphasis this is the entrance for example I want it to fly in and that's how it would fly in and that's also listed as number 1 
this over here if I would have wanted to darken and two three four and so they all listed go to slide three title I'm gonna click on animation over here I'd maybe want this to be random bars I want the ticks to be grow and turn and that's how it would appear the picture I'd maybe want to fly out sorry I didn't click on the picture let's click on zoom the picture let's zoom it okay so by slideshow I can click on slideshow and I can click on from current slide or from the beginning of the slide also my view bars at the bottom of here there is your slideshow as well so that would be my second slide I press I hit escape on my keyboard so I wanted to go from the beginning so once I click the down, down button key and this is how my presentation would be So that's the wrap for MS PowerPoint. Um, it's very basic, it's interesting, it's a very powerful tool, there's much more to it. But today I just, I just decided to, to cover the basics. I hope this will help you in class.